everyone. I just want to do a quick uh, post, if you will, about following your dreams, not taking advice from people that you shouldn't take advice from, you know, and, and how that can help you follow your dreams, right? And maybe experiencing a miracle, if you will. And then with that, also a little bit of a course of a pitch of my next course, NLP-based spiritual marketing. So when I say follow your dream, well, we all have different dreams, right? Many times our dreams get put on hold. You know, it's things that we kind of want to do. But, but And, you know, when you turn a dream into a goal, I think I posted the other day, then you take certain steps to get there. Not a wish, oh, I wish this would happen, I wish that, but something you truly dream for. And it's lasted through time. As many of you know, you know, I, I'm an actor. Uh, I've done a, over 100 stage plays, uh, a couple of dozen different film projects. And it's a dream. I, I always wanted to get back into it, right? And for many years, I would just do the theater, and I wish I could get into film. But it was somewhat eh, kind of, I was making excuses. I, won't, I wasn't looking for a reason. I was looking for an excuse. So I didn't do this. I didn't do that. But then sometimes the universe speaks for you. And suddenly I had the chance to do some little film projects, right? Guy was making local films from film festivals. I get involved. And so then um, because of my NLP training, and I've been blessed with that, I started saying, well, if you're going to do this, what are the steps it takes to get there? So I started looking about what do you do to get into the film industry? How do you do it? Well, first you have to take a real class, a film class, right? Um, of professional actors, not just local community theater. God love them. I do that a lot. Just did one. Well, yeah, it was a uh, community theater and it kept my skills alive, but it wasn't training with the professionals, right? It's the difference between going to the next level. So I took live classes, started taking online classes. One thing led to a next. And suddenly the magic is once you start down that path and once you get those goals, you begin to have things open up for you. You know, a miracle is when um, um, opportunity meets preparation, right? So I was preparing for it and then things happen. And then, you know, I've done several different movies, you know, small budget, medium budget, uh, on my agenda is a big budget and, and, and a streaming and some kind of serial thing. But so you have to do certain things. So, and one of the most important things to do when you do that is listen to the people you should be listening to, people that have done it in one way, shape or form. I know when I started getting into film and trying to do film, since I was around uh, community theater and regional theater, I mean, got paid, but it was a different level. Anyway, you know, I, I say, I'm going to do this. And then people start giving all this advice. My first response is, well, what's your film resume? What have you done? Well, you know, and then, it, then you get into that, could have, would have, should have, this is what I heard, this is what I read, you know, and it's like, especially those of us in the, that's been trained in hypnosis, how many people will give you this thing about what hypnosis is? And they don't have a clue. They're way off. And that's what happened when I started listening to some of the people that, hey, to be honest, they had no clue about how it really works. You know, a couple of people said, well, why are you taking classes? You're pretty good on stage. Yes, I, you know, I am. But that's not film. It's a different animal, right? It's a totally different animal. Uh, same skill, different thing, but there's, it's a different part of the craft, right? And so, so, you know, don't listen to the people that like, that hadn't been there, right? Or don't know really what they're talking about. Unfortunately, with the advent of the thing we're on now, the internet, everybody thinks they're an expert, right? And, you know, because God knows the internet wouldn't lie. You know, George Washington said that, I read it. Uh, but I mean, it's like, it's crazy, right? So listen to people that have some training background experience in the thing you want to do right? That have actually done it, right? And then your skills improve, right? And then you begin to learn the things you need to learn, not what you think you should learn, right? And even if you have an, a, an area of expertise close to it, it may not be what you want. And like I said, very comfortable on stage. I've done over 100 plays, big theaters, small theaters, dinner theaters, musicals, uh, farces, comedy, never did Shakespeare, did a lot of uh, Tennessee Williams, um, American Shakespeare. Uh, but anyway, so, you know, you really have to kind of judge this, right? And again, that skill, some of it's useful, but it needs to be tweaked and changed. So that's what I mean by follow your dreams, you know? But also 
take advice from people that can actually help you get to the next level, right? And I always take advice from a mentor that if you ask a question and they say, I don't know anything about that. I, I'll have to refer you out, find someone else, right? And, you know, so, so what's your dream? You know, because we all have dreams, right? And it's a lot of times it's not your fault. You don't know what to do next, right? But again, with the advent of the upside of the internet, there's all kinds of information you can find. Some good, some bad, but you kind of have to sift through it, but there's, there's information that you can do, right? And so, you know, and then your skills grow and morph and change. Last night I had the play, or two nights ago, I had the pleasure of doing a, a film in the Tampa area, it was local. And, you know, I auditioned for one part or sent it in for one part. They contacted me and go, would you do this other part? And I'm like, well, what's the, sure, what's the part? And they told me, actually, it's a better part. It's the, you know, it's the like, it's, it's the devil or the devil's son, depending how you look at it. And, you know, he's kind of like the narrator through several small films. So it was wonderful. I had a great time. These guys were good, you know, and I got, I got the two best compliments. Anybody out there watches this, if you're an actor or been around acting, two best compliments you could get. One of the tech guys says, you're very good at your craft. I can tell you work on it. That's the ultimate compliment when the tech guys say it, because they, they're usually not, you know, they're, they're doing the sound or the lighting and all that. And then the other one was the director when he made the second best comment, comment if not the first best that night, was, you know, you take direction very well. Now, tying it into something I already done, I go, well, you know, that's coming from theater where a good actor takes direction from the director. Because you never know as an actor on the stage or on the set what it looks like on film, right? Or in an audience, if you're doing a play, you don't know what it looks like from the audience's viewpoint. You think you do, even if you have a lot of experience, you don't. And maybe the director wants a certain thing, right? And so it's kind of fun. So, you know, so yeah, the skills change. So anyway, my next class, and it kind of ties into this, is called NLP-based spiritual marketing. Kind of, sounds kind of weird. But what it is, is you know, there's a lot of good information on marketing now, marketing on the internet, how to develop a group or an email list. All that. There's experts out there. I don't claim to be the expert in that. But if you train in NLP and you know NLP and hypnosis, you have a skill set very few people have. So what's holding you back from marketing it the way you want to market it? It could be a spiritual block. It could be some kind of block with success or money or going to the next level, putting yourself out there. And I speak because I've been there and that's what held me back from trying to do, you know, the next level acting. In fact, it was a few years ago that I had a voice teacher that got me to start doing, you know, a professional dinner theater um, and, and which led to some other stuff. And, you know, so it was like up your game, right? So, but I was, I don't know why. And it doesn't have, you don't have to know why. First world NLP, why is not important? What's going on? Let's change it. So if you're into, if you want to take your business to the next level and somehow you're stuck, even if you've taken whatever class, whatever workshop, seminar that you're taking on, you know, like whether it's internet marketing, Facebook marketing, or Google, whatever it is, great information, especially if you have that stuff, but you don't do it or you do it and you end up still sabotaging yourself. That's what NLP based spiritual marketing is. We're going to talk about what's really stopping you, tying into your energy, tying into this, doing that, using a few of the NLP and the hypnosis techniques that you can use in marketing. And then, of course, remove those blocks that is holding you back. The second class I'm going to teach, this is April, so it'll be in May, I haven't set the date yet, um, either Saturday or uh, Sunday in May, will be, <clears throat> you know, um, overcoming, overcoming camera shyness, overcoming you know, how to, how to look good on camera, how to use the camera, which angle you want the camera. There'll be a lot of the technical stuff, not just lighting. This is social lighting here. But I mean, how can you use lighting? Um, how, what, what do you want your camera angle to be if you're sitting down and that? Little things a lot of people don't know. You know, if you go low and you're looking up, it's a subservient position. They do that in film. Usually, it, if they're doing a point of view, if it's from the... the the hero's viewpoint, it's, it's got to be downward a little bit. If you're, you know, if it's upward, you're, it's sort of sense of power. You see this in films. It could be very subtle, but it's good. Do you want motion? Do you want to just sit there and be a talking head? Do you want to just talk over a, 
you know, a PowerPoint, even if you're doing a PowerPoint, you're doing a little picture within a picture, like on Zoom or some of the other um, uh, recording things. Do you want to move? Do you want to do things? Now, I can tell you, some of the research lately says people like watching videos where there's a little bit of movement, right? And a little bit more old school, right? Like write things on the board, right? Um, oh, look, if I was really doing this professionally, I wouldn't allow the ring light. I would have the can lights out, which I'll be talking about. So that's it. That's, you know, because if you have the, if you have messages you want to get out, whatever it happens to be with the hypnosis, the NLP, a passion that you have, what's holding you back from taking it to the next level? Do you get a little camera shy? Do you overthink it? Do you think people are going to judge you? Do you worry about making it perfect? Right? You, you could do all that. That's what we'll be doing in the class. It'll be a lot of fun Two two to three hour class on a Saturday or Sunday in May. I haven't really titled it yet, but it's like overcoming hammer shyness so you so that you can like take your message out there and don't worry about uh you know holding yourself back. Yeah, you know? taking your skills to the next level. It kind of ties into the you know NLP based spiritual marketing. Then we're gonna go into how to use the camera and then we'll do some other stuff. So anyway, that's what's coming up. If any questions, just direct message me. The NLP based uh spiritual. Marketing link is below. That's the um, Saturday or Sunday, the 23rd. I'm trying to Sunday this time, 12 noon Eastern for two to three hours. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a, an interesting experience. And I hope to see you all soon. If you have any questions, just reach out. Thank you and have a great day.